So we're halfway through December and Liverpool's goal difference is 47, which is a full 30 goals more than the next best in Arsenal. I think they're probably going to win the league. Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Football Manager 20 and some more Chelsea Challenge. And yeah, Liverpool are 10 points clear of Wolves. They're running away with it as things stand. Um, also, they're 10 points clear of Wolves. Wolves are still there. They're still in second competing for the Champions League. We are up to fourth. One point clear of Leicester with the game in hand. No, looking pretty good for the Champions League, but yeah, Liverpool are long gone, I think, even at this stage. But it's uh, it's been a very interesting season. Man City have recovered quite a bit, but Spurs are still struggling. Manchester United is still struggling. Kind of a bit more accurate to real life in many ways, including Watford being in the relegation zone. So today then, we were going to be playing Arsenal and Wolves. I've already played Arsenal. We still might play Wolves, but I completely forgot about the Club World Cup because we won the Champions League, of course. We have got the Club World Cup semi-final today against Cruz Azul, hopefully the final as well, uh, if not it will play Wolves, we may still play Wolves anyway, um, but before we do that let's check what's happened since last time, things have been, um, well, reasonable but a bit disappointing, we could be a lot closer, we should be a lot more secure in our top four position, we have dropped some silly points in the league, starting with a one all draw with West Brom, Sammy Abraham's doing a man in form, he got the goal in that one, but it was an equaliser after they took the lead through a Romain Sawyer's penalty. Tammy's scored in pretty much every game since the last episode, uh, including in the 1-0 win against AC Milan. This made sure we qualified as group winners, so that's why we're not playing the Shakhtar game, because it was a complete dead rubber. We then did beat Burnley 1-0, Tammy getting the goal in that one as well. We had Jeff Hendricks sent off late on. Then also disappointing was the game against Watford, a 2-all draw. We did recover it, but I, yeah, not great. We took the lead early on through Tammy. Looked to be good, created chance after chance after chance after chance. Marco Asensio missed about five chances. And then Luis Suarez, no, not that one, this guy uh, who they've signed, scored a ridiculous goal at an impossible angle to equalise. They then took the lead through a Troy Deeney penalty with Emerson getting sent off in the process. And then we equalised pretty much straight after that through Tammy again, but that was it. Not a great performance, it's fair to say, but we did bounce back with a 3 0 win against Norwich. Mount Abraham and Rudiger with the goals. Very good performance. The complete dead rubber final Champions League group match against Shakhtar Donetsk. Uh, played the rotated side. It was a nil-nil draw, um, but we didn't we didn't need to win it. So we did end up winning the group with 14 points, seven points clear of Milan and Shakhtar just missing out. So yeah, the draw for that is today. We will be doing that. We have also played the EFL Cup quarter final against Arsenal, and it was a one nil win in that one. We haven't beaten Arsenal many times in this save so far, but we did get a win there. Before we get to the Club World Cup, we have got the knockout round draw for the Champions League. Who could we play this year? Let's see. We could play Club, Club Bruges. We could play Real Betis. We could play... Porto, we could play PSG again, um, we could play Juventus, we could play Inter Milan, we can't play AC Milan of course, and we can't play Spurs, who are we going to get? Club Bruges, thank you very much, that makes up for last year, that really does, PSG get Liverpool, so that's fun for both of them, um, obviously two of our, two of our uh, former opponents in the competition, Inter Arsenal is always a good one, Spurs Barcelona as well is a big game too, we've got Club Bruges though, um, which you would hope we would win. Let's have a look and see if they've got any notable names in their team. Simon Mignolet, of course, is their goalkeeper now. Um, otherwise, I don't know. I mean, saying that, we did come unstuck against Genk last season, so we cannot take them for granted, but certainly a very good opponent for us. So we turn our attention to the Club World Cup then, and you have to say we are the favourites for this. Um, we have not won it before. The last time Chelsea won the Champions League, they famously did not win the Club World Cup, becoming the only European side in over a decade to not do so. Losing to Corinthians in the final, we cannot repeat that one this time out. Now, you might have to go back and check the tapes. I'm 99% sure that we qualified for the Club World Cup before the Champions League final took place, and yet Liverpool are not participating in the competition and from what I can see, it seems to be the same format. It's not taken on the proposed new format, um, which FIFA, I think, have already decided they're going to do. Um, it's not taken on that format yet. Whether it will next year or the year after, I don't know. It's not happening this year. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we qualified before the final, which makes no sense because we haven't definitely won yet. So our opponents in the Club World Cup semi-final are Cruz Azul, Mexican side. So they've obviously won the... Uh, 
CONCACAF Champions, I think it's, is it CONCACAF? I don't know, the, the North American one. Um, did they win the league last year? They did not, from what I can tell from opening, closing stages nonsense. So we have been playing the vertical tiki taka recently and it seems to be the more sort of stable system for us at the moment. I don't know, do we go full strength for this? We can't afford to not win this competition. I definitely want to win the Club World Cup, especially given Chelsea have got form of not winning it. Is anyone looking particularly tight? I think I'm going to give Reese James a little rest and we'll bring in Cesar Aspilla Quater. Um, but otherwise, that is going to be exactly how we line up. My reasoning for doing that is that Reese James is our best player, so let's 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 not use him in this one. Um, I expect you to come back as finalist. Right, first highlight looks to be going our way. Emerson, of course, one of our main areas of threat. Jorginho spreads it out to Cesar Aspel Equator. He's the change to the lineup, and he cracks it against the post. Would Reese James have scored it? That's the question. Um, I don't know, probably not. Uh, for Kato Tomori running into lots of space, we're certainly dominating the ball in this early stage of proceedings. Cesar Aspel Equator has loads of space once again, gets it back from Kante. Back in towards Kante. Who's going to take the shot on? Nobody yet. It's come all the way to Emerson, though. Pings it in, looking for Abraham. He finds N'Golo Kante instead. And the quiet Frenchman puts it away. What What was that ta ta What was that tackle from the uh, Cruiser's old defender? Anyway, Kante takes it, has all the time in the world, and smashes it home. He's not going to miss from there. Aspel Equator has it on the right-hand side, looking in for Mason Mount. Kante's gone for a second. Saved by Servio, who just tips it around the post. I'm pretty sure Servio was in our Mexico squad in the International Journeyman Series last year. I might be mistaken. All right, total domination. But you know what that means? It means we could get complacent. We need to grab ourselves a second and ideally a third to make this save. Emerson inside to Tammy Abraham Kante. Seeing a lot of the ball today. Aspel Equator as well. Puts it back across to Emerson, who always sees a lot of the ball. He's been flattened. And it looks like we're going to get a penalty. Indeed, we are. Tammy to take to give us a 2-0 lead. This would this would put us in a very strong position. Sends the keeper the wrong way for his 11th of the season after failing to score in, what was it, the first like 9, 10 games. He has been a man on a mission since then, keeping Erling Haaland firmly out the side. Well, total control in that first half. Let's keep it up here in the second First highlight of the second half, three quarters of the defence is on a yellow card, which isn't really what you want with a major final coming up for which they would be obviously suspended. Emerson hitting it at no one in particular. Christian Pulisic picks it back up, though. Goes all the way around the right-hand side. Asper Equator puts it in, and Tammy Abraham grabs his second of the game at close range. Really nicely well-worked goal this. Um, I mean, we, we, we were expected to win this match, it's fair to say. Lovely ping ball in from Cesar Aspel Equator. We need to keep him happy, obviously. He is the club captain and he is very good at persuading everyone else to stop complaining. So he needs to play a little bit more, but he's played today and done very, very well. Marco Asensio on as a substitute with a free kick in and Tammy Abraham gets himself an assist this time. Lays it off for Angolo Kante to grab his second as well. They are controlling the score sheet today. Um, lovely cushion turn down Kante literally at point blank range even for a man of his stature he's, he can he can reach that one this one is totally over really good performance well done everyone that is exactly what you like to see in a club world cup semi-final obviously a special occurrence not a, not the kind of thing you play regularly let's make sure everyone's nice and rested and see who we will play in the final it'll probably be the South American team it usually is the South American team I don't know who the South American team even is. It is the South American team, and it's Internacional, who did we sell? Willy Caballero is going to be playing in goal for them. That's a nice touch, isn't it? So if we want to win the Club World Cup, we will have to get past our goalkeeper back up from last season. So Internacional in the final of the Club World Cup. I'm excited. This is, this is going to be good. We are playing Wolves in three days' time, which concerns me slightly. We're not having a team meeting um, because that always goes dreadfully. League cut semi-final draw as well. The fixtures really are piling up and we've got Manchester City. I'm thinking that January is going to be absolutely horrific for us. We've got the Club Bowl Cup today. We've got to play Wolves in three days time and we're playing Crystal Palace twice in a row. Great, great job from the fixture computer there. And then goodness me, January is just horrific, isn't it? Absolutely horrific. With that, why did we why did we go through in the League Cup? Why couldn't we have lost to Arsenal? That would have been good. 
are the Borg going to mind? They don't care about the League Cup. Um, what do they want for the FA Cup? They want us to, they they want us to reach the Champions League final, apparently, in the FA Cup. Um, that's going to be difficult. So they want us to reach the final. We obviously didn't do very well in the, in the FA Cup last year. I think we might have to prioritise that one and just sort of sack off the League Cup semi-final oh, I don't know I don't I don't know how I feel about that but all of that sort of stuff is in the future Reese James can come back in for Cesar Aspel Equator as good as he was in the previous round but our focus has got to be on winning this this is the most important thing in our immediate future we have not won this competition before we choked last time against Corinthians in real life can we do better than real life Chelsea and win it here today okay so they're not going to be pushovers of course with the Caballero in goal for them as we said Aribe I'm pretty sure yeah, he was the guy that hit the bar in the penalty shootout between England and Colombia at the World Cup. Carlos Sanchez, formerly of West Ham and Aston Villa, in midfield for them. I think, is, that, is my knowledge right? It is It is right. It is absolutely right. He's 35, though. few ageing players in there. You'd expect us to have enough to see them off with our youthful exuberance. Corner in from Mason Mount. Can we get ourselves a lead early on and put this one to bed? hudson Adoy cracks it against the post. Well, the first half's nearly basically gone. Neither side's had a shot on target. Um, haven't tested Willy Caballero at all. Finally, we do. Not that we see it. There is a highlight before half-time. Tomori to Jorginho. Kante. We're kind of penning them back a little bit. Well, there is an opportunity for a breakaway for them. We need to be careful here. Keep the ball. Just be sensible. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Reece James finds some space. Pulisic is across and Tammy Abraham. You'd back him to do... To put that away every day of the week, but not on this occasion. So disappointing, nil-nil at half time. Not at all what we want. I mean, we we haven't seemingly been threatened. We do seem to have dominated, but have yet to find the breakthrough. All right, the second half of this is rapidly disappearing. Nothing, nothing of note happening. We've gone positive. Mason Mount's got a bit of an injury. We'll take him off. Bring on Ruben Loftus Cheek. Um, but yeah, are we being overawed by the occasion? I don't. I, I don't want to go to a penalty shootout. We know how unreliable penalties are in the game this year. Sammy Abraham picks it up, beats one. Can he get the shot off? Yes, he can. But it goes over. Oh, it's going to go to penalties, isn't it? I can tell. I can tell. Right. This We're going to have to start thinking about bringing people on based on whether they can take a penalty or not. Oh, I really don't want to go to penalties. This this would not... <laughs> we're, we're going to lose. We're going to lose on a penalty shootout. I can tell now. Right, stop this. Go attacking. hudson Adoy is not very good at penalties. I'm assuming that Asensio and maybe Hazard are better. Hazard is decent. What about Marco Asensio? Mm, he's even better. We're going to bring on Asensio for hudson Adoy. And what about Christian Pulisic? He's only got a 10. Right, Torgan Hazard can come on. Wait, what about Erling Haaland? He's got 16. Right, scrap that. Haaland's going to come on for Pulisic. And then we're just going to sort of hope someone nicks a goal. Not them. That would be... Not them. Good. Not them. It needs to be us. It's now or never. We could switch the system, but I don't want to get hit on the break. And there we go. Unless it goes to extra time. It goes to extra time. Right. Okay, we've got a chance. Although Erling Haaland's out on the wing. Hopefully he can do it. He should be fine. We, we've got another half an hour to get a breakthrough. This is not helping our fitness at all. But can we make another substitution? Jorginho's struggling. I mean, he is our best penalty taker. But then we've seen him take penalties. And it's not been good. Um, do we take him off? I'm going to leave him there for now. He is our best player and he's playing. He's got the highest rating. We can't really take him off. Why is nothing happening? Come on. We just need one goal. That's all we need. Get the breakthrough, please. Kante with a shot. Caballero tips it around. We've seen so little of anything in this match. Asensio with the corner. Haaland doesn't put it away. We did have the opportunity with Tammy Abraham. He did not put it away. And I just you can tell this is going to go to penalties. 15 more minutes. Do something. Get creative. Not them. Goodness me. Oh. Well, it might not go to penalties. It might not go to penalties. They've offered... They've done nothing. What is that? What is that? Oh, I really hate this game sometimes. Okay, now we need an equaliser just to literally force a penalty shootout. 
what a ridiculous situation we found ourselves in. Asensio has been fouled, I think. It is a penalty. Tammy Abraham, get some practice in early, please. Scores. Okay, we're back in it. We, we've got time. There's still time to push for a winner. Um, at least he's got his shooting boots in regarding taking penalties. Sends Caballero the wrong way. Please don't do exactly the same thing in the shootouts, Ami. All right, come on. There's still time to get ourselves a winner. There's still time, of course, for us to throw it away. We can make one more substitution. Jorginho is tired, but we can't afford to take him off because while he does like missing penalties, he can still score them. Anybody else good at taking penalties apart from Torgan Hazard? What about Kovacic? 12. Is it better than Kante? Yes, it is. Right, Kante's coming off. And I think that is going to be that. We nearly chucked it away. We still have a chance to chuck it away. It's going to penalties. Tammy is going to be up first. Of course he is. And then that's it in terms of good penalty takers. Um, and it will just sort of auto fill in. Goodness gracious me, I did not expect to deal with this. I thought it was going to be an easy win. Baselli, can we... Kepa, save it. He's not saved it. He's not saved it. Right, we need Tammy to score. If he doesn't score, it's basically all over. Thankfully, he doesn't go the same way. And luckily, neither is Caballero. Nico Lopez, the goal scorer for them, puts it away. I've never seen so many converted penalties on FM20. Erling Haaland, he's got 16 penalty taking. And luckily, it shows two all. Really could do with Kepa pulling off a big save. He does like making big saves. Makes one there from Ed Eden Ilson. Right, Jorginho, mate. Please score. Thank you. We've got the advantage. 3-2. Farrell for them. Kepa, make another big save. Not on this occasion. We've got the advantage, though. We've just got to keep scoring. Marco Asensio. Create a classic moment for us. He does. He does. Right. Kepa, the big man. He's made many important saves in his time here. He's already saved us quite a few penalties. Can he save another one in this particular shootout? Not today. But Mateo Kovacic has got a chance to win. Can he be the hero or is he going to be the Nicholas Anelka of this situation? Come on, Matteo. That was inevitable, really, wasn't it? We need to, We need Kepa now. Makes the big save. We have the advantage again. And it will be a homegrown boy, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, from our academy. You know how this goes, don't you? John Terry was from our academy, and he slipped and missed. He's going to miss it, isn't he? He's going to miss it. Of course he is. Of course he is. It's written in the stars. They're going to score now. And then we're going to miss the next one. Who needs to keep us in? Rhys James. Oh, he's a defender as well. Because we, we've we had the chance to win twice and we've missed. Rhys James keeps us in for now. Kepa's made two saves. And we haven't won. Oh, the pressure's all on us. We had two opportunities to win it. I can't even watch, really. Antonio Rudiger. This should be done. It should be over. It's not going to be over. We're not playing Wolves in this episode, that's for sure. Tony Rudiger gives it up in the limpest of fashions. We've not won the Club World Cup. I hate penalties. I hate them so much. I hate Ruben Loftus-Cheek. I hate Mateo Kovacic. And, um, yeah, that's all I can say about that. I shouldn't have told them to come into training. How have we lost that game, by the way? They had one... They had two shots in the whole game one of which was their goal. We had 25. I I don't know what to say. Well, our very impressive record of being the only European side in the last 10 or so years to, to fail to win the Club World Cup continues. Composure of 16, apparently, from Loftus-Cheek. Um, yeah, you can't win them all. But sometimes when you lose, it does really, really hurt. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed that. Utter, utter nonsense. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episode. And I will see you again next time for something in this horrendous January period. Probably, maybe the end. The second leg against Man City and Leicester. Let's go with that. We'll go, we'll go a bit longer. We're playing Leicester twice in the league as well. I think we'll go with, we'll go with the end of the month. And we might make some signings. We can, of course, make some signings. I don't really know if there's anyone I really want to bring in. Um, maybe some people better at penalties.